Greetings and salutations, this is Emperor Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello! You're doing a squeaky voice again, aren't you? Yes! Today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. We seem to be doing a lot of these. Um, some of them we're getting for us, some of them we're actually selling, so, you know, it's a different thing. We ended up with a lot of them. These are Confederates uh, from Perry Miniatures. I've um, always been a fan of Perry Miniatures. Actually, I really have actually always been a fan. When I remember them starting, and I got one of their first boxes and I thought they were awesome. And the more they go, the more awesome the figures are. Although these guys have been around a bit. I can tell. The, you know, the Confederates have been out a bit. Yeah, no, the so box it's looks a little old. No, it's a new box. I just got it. I just delivered it this morning. I mean, like, I've basically been in the, in the uh, warehouse for a while. You know, I've been very nice to my box. It's a lovely box. So, these are Confederates uh, from the American Civil War. If I need to tell you that, then you shouldn't really be watching this video. Um, we will just pop the box open because, you know, people complain. So, here we are. That's the box. There. Now we can talk about it. Um, I have already been in this box. So, because I couldn't wait to open it. Uh, usually I just pop the box open and then find out what's in it. Um, and, they come as, up, and they come up with some snazzy lines. Yeah, as per usual, you get the stuff for eBay. Um, you stick them on eBay and people buy them. It's great. Um, <laughs> I, I don't use them. We base everything on clear plastic you bases. You used to use them. You used to, yes. Yeah. And then you, you uh, based your base on entire, you know what, what was it? Bolt action in uh, Polish and Russians in clear bases. And then you said, I don't think we should do it in all the armies. And I went, yes, you do. Yeah, that was a big one. Um, yeah, so we got some clear plastic bases. If you go online, go on eBay, type in clear plastic bases, 25mm round bases, or 40mm, or 50mm, there are loads of people selling them. Um, I can't, off the top of my head, remember the guy we normally get it off, get them off, um, but we, he's run out at the moment, so... Well, why are people mass, produ mass, mass using it? Um, yeah, but they're brilliant, because what we used to do before is theme all our bases, so for American Civil War, these guys, um, we'd be basing on, on grass with a bit of dirt, um, for, say, World War II Russians, you base them on sand, uh, on snow, and then, of course, you play a game in summer, and your you Russians are painted on snow, and they look stupid, we had massive problems with our 40k stuff, didn't we? And you had to build uh, one set of T26 tanks in or snow, or snow yeah. and another set of two 26, can uh, 26 in green. tanks in green, yeah. so they can match summer and winter. Yeah, um, so that stuff can get annoying, um, it really can. Um, I'll just adjust this. When we're going to do a winter war, and then we'll move house. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, the winter war thing is on the back burner. And then I'll drive down. We, uh, uh, we thought we should do uh, um, Alamo. But we are digressing, we're not allowed to do that anymore. What do you mean? Yeah. So, um, so we base on, on clear plastic bases now, and the, 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 you know, we'll, we'll, let's just get back to the figures. In this box, well, you, know, we, you, you know we don't do that. In every box, you get one of these, which is actually quite cool, and it gives you a sort of rough idea of what each regiment would look like. Um, there are quite a few to choose from. Um, the flags are very nice. Um, the flags are great. You can actually do a little bit of editing to the flags with a very, very sharp knife. And you can make them look brilliant. Um, the, the flags are really good. And you get a uh, Confederate national flag, stars and bars. Um, that horrible racist flag that needs to be banned. That horrible racist flag that needs to be banned. And that horrible racist flag that needs to be banned. Funnily enough, they're actually the flag, flag of the Confederacy of the United States, but for some reason they've become racist and, and you have to ban them now. Which means we're going to be doing Confederates and they're all going to have that flag because I don't like being told. Not really, trust me. Yeah? The, 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 that has flags there, kind of. Yeah. Because the people supporting don't give a toss about political correctness because political correctness is stupid. And on the flip side, we it's have like the same Texans. flags again. Yes, just like the text. That's why they voted a Trump. <laughs> um, and you get all these. Um, I believe that is actually... Um, we used to use those as the flag of the orphaned regiments. Um, I'm not sure if that is. Let's have a look. What is it? No, yeah, it's one of the orphaned regiments. So, um, anyway, that's the basic colour guide to all these. Um, we're going to do... Um, actually, we, we've got these figures for two reasons. Um, first of all, we want to do American Civil War. 
in 28 mil because American Civil War is actually one of the coolest periods that we want to do because it, it was a very very interesting war. On the flip side we're wanting to use figures for the Alamo. We're doing the Alamo as a project and we're going to be using some of the Confederate figures from these boxes, the guys skirmishing as Texans. Hence the sidekick's mention of Texans. Um, so these guys are going to be Texans. Uh, all half of these guys anyway are going to be Texans and the other half are going to be painted up as Confederates. But um, I thought these guys would probably be the best figures to use as Texans. You're mm -hmm. quiet. Well, I think, I think, I think, well, they are supposed to be meant for American Civil War. But they do look exactly the like, is, look exactly like the people who fought for the Alamo. It's the same, it's, the clothing is the same. Yeah. It, it's the same, it's the same rough genetic, genetic? Generic period of history. And probably genetically close to, <laughs> given that it's the same people. Yeah, that's, that's in yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, here you have, um, a nice selection of figures. Uh, they're all basically um, the same. Each sort of set is the same. But you get all the hands and everything which can go in different poses and you can actually, as usual, go to town with these sort of figures and, and, and make any sort of arrangements you want. No head arrangement though. What? No hedge. Head arrangement. No hats. Huh? Look at all the different hats. I mean... All of those are hats. You mean it's, it's the complete opposite? Yeah, you can put whatever hat on so you want. You don't change the heads. You don't you change, the, change head. the hat. It's the same head. Okie dokie then. That is so much cooler, isn't it? Because usually you have a box, a bits box, I have a big box full of heads. It's got Viking heads, World War II heads. You know, it puts Gets and Tarry's heads. Gets and Tarry's heads. Bolt action people. There's still the odd Tyranid left in there for our World 40k days. And um, some skeletons. And some skeleton heads. I built an army of skeletons out of bits box. Yeah, you did. Actually, out of my bits box, yeah. you built a skeleton out. Yeah. Um, Honestly, I took me all day, but still, <laughs> I, I did something. I was proud of it. You did go through every single box of junk I had <laughs> to do it. Um, so, yeah, the heads, are, they're not. you don't have to head swap with these. You just put whatever hat you want on, which another thing uh, for the Texans, these would do great for the Texans because I could use any hat I want for the Texans, keep all the Kepis back to put on the slightly better equipped um, Confederates. Good idea? Yes. I thought that was a genius idea that I had. And I'm really clever, so, you know, it's a bit of a shock to me. That, that I don't that know, I, don't, I, I, won't, I won't go that far. Yeah. Your ego's only too high. Yeah. Um, so that is the basic sprue that you, that you get. Um, over, and where is it? There it is. Uh, that's the sprue for the command. The command has a small drummer boy who is carrying the drum. Incidentally, what were drummers? What do they do on the battlefield? Other signify. Than drums? Other than Sign signify. No, they had another signify. job. Uh, where to go? They had another job. Uh, uh, retreat and advance sounds? Medics. Drummers would be stretcher bearers for the medics. If you got wounded, the drum drummers would carry the medics off. Uh, remember, carry the wounded off. <laughs> carry the medics off. Yeah, the medics would probably get wounded as well. It's no, no, no. So the Texans, they're dying, and the drummers come, get, get, get the medic, lay him down, make him go to sleep, and then carry him off. Yeah, that's... No. No, that didn't happen. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's basically that. Uh, so, yeah, you, you get quite a, a bit of um, options for the command as well and if you mix them up with the others uh, with the other spare arms and stuff and if you go into your bits box bits box i don't think anybody else has a bit everyone box. must have a bit <laughs> yeah. seriously how can I mean, do you know how i found to it, i used to throw my stuff away when i was a kid when i was your age right and at school i uh, my re teacher my religious education teacher do you have re we're caught we're caught something different now yeah it probably physiology is. and ethics yeah, RE, anyway, which is when our teacher would basically take the mickey out of all the different religions. Um, and RE was one of my second favourite lesson at school was RE because it was so funny. Um, the, way he used, the way he used to do it and, and, and sort of, and this is where they stole this from, sort of religious education. He was awesome. Anyway, he was a gamer and he had 
uh, and, and we, he, he did a club where we used to go once or twice a week during dinner and we would all make figures and paint figures together like in, in, his, in, his, uh, in the classroom just during dinner. It was quite cool. And he had a bits box and I remember he, he was putting together a German cobble wagon in 135th scale and he said, I don't like the head on this, I don't like the head on this and he just went into this box full of heads and arms and all sorts and he picked out the perfect head <laughs> with the awesome, awesome hat on it and he stuck it on and I thought, that is awesome. And the moment I got home, I went through the bin, found all the bits I'd thrown away that day <laughs> that weekend. <laughs> I found some remains of his breakfast. Sandwich. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh. And, and, I, and I've had a bits box ever since and I, and I would recommend that all gamers have a bits box. Never throw anything away. Your wife will throw them away when you're not looking. I will warn you. Sold them away for you. Yeah, she sold some of my st Yeah, she actually... What yeah. Some of it, she sold everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She says, she all your figures, all stacked up. Oh, look, this will make a lot of money. Why should I? I mean, I, I, she rang me and, and, and... Oh, no, I rang her. I was at work. And I rang her and, and she said, Oh, I've made X amount of pounds today. And I said, Good God, how did you do that? That's brilliant. And she said, I saw all your figures. <laughs> No, what? <laughs> no, my life! Ah, that was, that was many years ago. And we're still in business now. Well, and we're still you, married, you which is even more shocking. Your business really failed. Hmm? Um, when? During the summer, summer holiday. Oh, after Brexit, yeah. yeah. No your business really went, <laughs> Yeah, uh, when Brexit hit, about three or four months, it turned out they'd been lying. <laughs> Just like they lie about everything. And it turned out that Kay made it up and, and the chap at BBC was just lying through his teeth and it turned out that killer bees were not actually going to kill everybody. So it was lucky that um, <laughs> the tsunami failed to arrive, the killer bees didn't happen and Godzilla didn't, rise and out Godzilla the didn't eat Big Ben. <laughs> it's amazing that that never actually happened and actually we're fine, we're doing fine. And uh, you know, trade picked up again, and then the people who saved all the money over Brexit have now spent it on assets. Yeah, um, it's because they saved all that money up, they didn't spend it on anything, and now they're buying huge amounts of stuff off us. So it, it balances itself out. That's why you have a fund to fall back on. So that's why we stopped doing videos for that period of time. Uh, partly, and also we're getting ready to move house. And yeah, we had a lot we, of stuff we, going we on. We've had a very hectic year. We were driving back as a forwards between here and home. And uh, 150 mile journey. It, it, 54. 154 mile journey, exactly. Um, yeah. And it was it was hell. But um, now we're here, we don't have to do any of that because we're, we're here already. So we can now do videos and get back to buying figures. And now these are the Confederates. These are the first box of figures we've bought here. Yeah, sorry, we've talked on again, haven't we? We've drifted off. Now, people complain when we drift off and talk off topic. Well, one or two people do and say, stop drifting off topic. Look, I've just seen that video where people turn the mic at me and I says, what was it say now? <laughs> the one we just put on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it doesn't look like the sidekicks are taking well to the move. <laughs> and, and that means both ways. Yeah. <laughs> it means I'm rubbish at doing a handstand and <laughs> I'm rubbish at moving hands. I didn't know you were doing a handstand. <laughs> no, I, no, I believe as well. I, 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 I didn't think no, I was doing you know, it You're just throwing yourself at the I floor. <laughs> I was trying, and it just epic and failing. Um, anyway, um, legs up. Um, <laughs> I must get back to the plot. Now, these figures um, are Confederates, of course. What we are going to do for, for American Civil War is the uh, Chattanooga campaign. Because I... Right, you completely lost me from Ch Ch Chattanooga. Uh, I told you all about it. A couple of years ago when <laughs> we used to Oh yeah, my brain you're not is so good. It. I used to do it, we used to do it in 6mm. And then we got 15mm, our gaming club. And then we got 6mm again. We went back and started doing American Civil War. And then we stopped doing American Civil War entirely for years because you weren't interested in it. When you were going out, you wanted to start gaming. There was no point getting figures that you didn't want to play with as well. And you didn't like the little six mil. At that time, I, mean, I hated, hated it. I absolutely hated yeah, them. I, I despise six mil. You went, we were, We took you to a gaming show. Oh no. Okay, and and you go. walked up to Bacchus. the chapel runs Bacchus and he said, hello little boy, do you want to get some of my figures today or something? And, and, and what did you do? Went, no, 
Komm. Und sagt, Alter, Alter, ich schenke mir den Meter Fingers. Da, wo bist du? Oh, I mean, it's okay, he's not really mine, he's adopted. But, um, what? <laughs> joke, that My life. Um, so, basically, um, we stopped yeah, doing I, that. Yeah, by then I was completely into regular. I'm still into regular now, I'm all in back. Yeah, we're not in six mil. I, I don't really this stuff is 10 mil, isn't it? Yeah, 10 mil. He, yeah. And this is men. Yeah. So it's now... Only, it's the only army I actually own. Um, the only army I actually do from Bacchus is um, Russians and Ottomans. The video we did last week, whenever. You just, you, if Bacchus is watching this right now, you are insulting him. I'm not insulting him. It's just that's all we do now because we did all the Nap Napoleonic stuff. But we sold all that to re because I didn't want to rebase it. Because we had it on the big six by six bases, and six six mil figures are awesome. But when you put them on a sixty by sixty base and stick two regiments to a base, although they look awesome, they're a bitch to move around the battlefield, especially when we were doing Waterloo. Because one base will fill an entire collection of buildings. So if you move into Plasmont, you you fill the entire thing with one base of figures, and it's just tedious, isn't it? Yeah. So then we're going to switch back to uh, Polymus and do, it, do uh, Polymus Basin instead. Uh, then we got Sidekick by other stuff, but I'm drifting off again, I'll just stop that. Um, so these are the Confederates. As I said, we want to do the Chattanooga campaign, which is awesome. Um, I know a lot of people do things like Seven Pines and stuff like that. Um, I'm, well, I've got a book down there, and it's got it's a pictorial history of the American Civil War. I'll show do, you. That. Do you press a button, and then it starts reading to it? No, it's a, it's a paper thing tied up with string. Really? Yeah. I thought, I thought it's I made of kind of things were burned by people who uh, uh, who started e equilibrium. Yeah, luckily we're not living in the actual <laughs> equilibrium universe at the moment. Uh, do you see this? This paper thing. Well, I've got a book with lots of those, and they're all tied together. Oh, words! Yeah, and it's got words in it, and you don't have you don't scroll. What, what, Look, what, what's, watch, what's watch. It called? See, it doesn't move. I'll show you that book, and and you have a look at that and but, see what you think about it. But that. I can't read. Yes, you can. I can't. Yes, you can. Alright, I will try. No, because you're just going to pretend you can't. And I know you can. You silly little boy. Victrix. <laughs> That's not Victrix, it's Perry. I'm reading a box of Oh, yeah. you're reading a box of <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, Romans. Forgot about that. Perry. Um, oh, yeah, we've got that video, didn't we? Um, oh, yeah. Look forward to these. Prepare to meet General Marius, fighting you, you, the evil you, Sulla. You, you, you've got to try it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yes. And we've, got, we've also got these to come as well. So, you know, deal with it. Stop telling them what we have in it's store for them. We've removed houses. There's only one more thing I haven't showed them yet. We've sold half the stuff, we'll, we'll, so we can now buy new stuff and we've, we've sold everything and we're just having no, fun. No, we're not having any more Figures. What? We didn't, we didn't, we haven't actually sold the house. We own two houses. Yeah, I know, we own. <laughs> we own two houses, which means we're poor. You yeah, never meet look. someone who owns two houses and is rich, seriously, because it costs a fortune to have two houses. <laughs> Donald Trump has a couple hundred houses. Yeah, he's really poor. He's got no money at all. He's bankrupt. That's why he had to become president of America. His children, it's even worse. Yeah, his children cost him a fortune. <laughs> God. £250,000 to bring a child up to 18, is it? Or something like that? No, it's a quarter of a million. I thought it was like a million or something. A mm, quarter of a million, I think it is. Uh, right, so you owe us a quarter of a million. You're getting built. <laughs> Seriously, as soon as you no, leave the house, like, you get a bill. Leave the house, we have bags. Yeah, like, with a bill. I'm off to go to Japan. <laughs> Here's your bill. Oh no. Pay back by one month. See ya. You can pay by installments for your <laughs> entire life. It's fine. As long as you put me in a really nice old people's home, I'm, I'm okay. Well, what happens if I get a house by your, a gold coffin? Wouldn't be much use to me, I'd be dead. A diamond coffin? Wouldn't be much use to me, I'd be dead. A diamond house? Could you buy me a diamond coffin now, and I can sell it and retire? And then I'd actually enjoy being but dead. Then, then, but no, it doesn't make any sense that, because then I'll buy it, you'll make no profit. Yeah, but if you buy it for me now, I wouldn't be dead, and I can sell it. I'm asking the money now. 
they are giving the money for it then. <laughs> so, <laughs> turn your pockets out. <laughs> yeah, who paid for these figures, by the way? Um, uh, this? Yeah, an empty sweet wrapper. Yeah, empty sweet wrapper. He's trying to pay with an empty sweet wrapper. <laughs> How dare you? That's, that, that's a, a worth a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah, you see, you want to do these projects, and I know you don't want to do a civil, American Civil War, but you do, do want, want to do the Texan War, Texan American, uh, Texan Mexican War. So we're doing the Texan Mexican War, but we're also doing the Mexican Civil War as well. So that, that makes us both happy, and you see. And I'm going to force you to play Confederates. I'm assuming how much you like. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's actually not how money works. <laughs> I know technically you can technically do that. <laughs> technically. But you need to do it through a bank. <laughs> and you need to pay it off in the end. <laughs> when you don't pay it off, you end up with things like recession. It's a number. Yeah, it's just a number. It's just loads of zeros on the piece of paper. It doesn't help much, does it? Anyway, um, I think we've beaten this video to death. So <laughs> um, it's now not... we'll talk about the figures. Yeah. No, no, but seriously, I think we've done the figures. <laughs> Look, these figures are brilliant, and I like them. I'm going to be basing some up. I'm going to be doing some as Texans first uh, because we're doing the Alamo project, and we want to have to get into our first few battles. Um, we'll just fight one more with the Alamo or something just to start with, just to get into it. And I think we'll enjoy that. I will, don't know about you. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to destroy your Mexican army. Well, I'm playing Santa Ana, so it's easy for me. I just send all the chickens forward. <laughs> <laughs> yes, soldiers are just chickens. <laughs> yes, I don't care if my men die. Yeah, have you ever actually read anything about Santa Ana whatsoever before you made the film? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, that's it. That, that's really the end of the video. Um, as I said, we're going to be doing the Chattanooga campaign. I think that would be really interesting to do because you can have riverine warfare. You can have um, <coughs> oh, then just tried to kill itself. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it just, the video is going on for so long. It the, just committed suicide. It couldn't, it couldn't take it anymore and just flew into our room. It's just stupid. Animals. Oh, I think I can see it. I think I think I can, I think I can see it. Oh, great. So, what is it about wildlife around right here? <laughs> Who lives in the countryside? Us. Yeah, us now. Yeah. yeah. I remember when we got here, we got out of the car, and you said, "What's that smell?" Yeah. <laughs> it's grass. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's how it smells. Yeah, I said our doctor's been out. Yeah. And everyone looked at us weirdly. Everyone's <laughs> staring at us. Yeah, I said it's us. So we're so not gonna fit in. It's back in Yorkshire again. <laughs> um, I better calm back down. in Yorkshire again. And I went into Irish there for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so did. anyway, here here are the the Americans. Um, the, the Confederates. Um, although technically you can actually use these figures as Union as well. Um, although I wouldn't. You're best using Union figures as Confederates. I know some people do mix things around a bit. Um, I think Union armies were much better supplied, much better equipped. And I, um, the Quartermaster General of the Confederate Army did at one point say the biggest producer of equipment for the Confederate Army was the United, was the Federal, the, the Union Army. Because they were stealing all this equipment off of the, off of the Union soldiers as they won battles and they just dyed it a different colour. Um, so anyway, that is the end of this video. Finally we got to the end. We didn't really do much on the figures. Um, there's not really much to say about the figures until we actually start putting them together. Um, I have explained that you do get figures in all sorts of different poses. Uh, sorry, so the, the rifles and everything can be used in different poses. You've got marching rifles and firing rifles and all that sort of stuff, advancing rifles. And there isn't anything else on the sprue to really talk about. So the sprue is what you get. That is the sprue. Deal with it. Um, and it's perfectly brilliant for what we want because we can have them as skirmishing troops, we can have them as marching troops, much better at marching for the big 28 mil battles. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And I'm gonna have to get hold of the Black Powder American Civil War book. Yes. Uh, that's where I need to get older next. That's, I think it's going to be our next buy. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. 
Um, and we will do a video on that when I've read it. So we look forward to that. So thank you very much for watching. Over to the sidekick. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of American Civil War Confederate Infantry slash Texas soldiers. I say for me. Confederate soldiers. There will be Texan soldiers, but yeah. Everything from him. Goodbye.